Okay, so you're all part of a, like, the reason we're here is not because it's a nicer room. But, well, McMahon's not so bad, but some of those other lecture rooms that you have, the, those tutorial rooms are pretty manky, at least to teach in. The reason you're here is because part of, uh, or oh, one of the things that we're doing is, is with um, Oshin there, we're experimenting with new sorts of learning technologies to um, hopefully to allow you to learn better and uh, for us to see whether some of these technologies are practical. So one of the things we can do is videotape lectures. So in the second year, um, the first semester, second year course, earlier, uh, last semester, Oshin videotaped a whole pile of lectures. But what we found is that's quite a lot of work. So they actually have the system installed in three or four rooms around the campus, including this one where there's like a video camera. Can you see up in the corner there? You can see my... I don't go too far away. You can see my smiling face as well. Um, so what you'll be able, what we'll have for this lecture is uh, the slides plus a little picture of me talking, just in case that helps, and um, also like an index of uh, where all of the slides are and that, so that when you come to revise and to learn, or if it happened that you didn't wake up at nine o'clock in the morning like uh, Oshin didn't, then um, you'd be able to go back and look at the lectures. That, that's sort of part of the idea. So it's not to encourage you not to come to lectures, because, but uh, it, it is to give a, a different uh, and extra learning opportunity. So later on in the year, Oshin will probably want to talk to you, do a little survey or something to find out whether it's better or not. Anyway, so all of this is a little bit new to me. So, uh, so we'll have to, if there's any glitches, then we'll have to see what happens. Because as you might know, as you probably know, I usually use a Macintosh on a laptop, and I have to use the PC uh, with, uh, um, with PowerPoint here. So we'll see what happens. OK, so my lectures, there's two blocks of lecture, two blocks of four lectures I normally give. And these four are on basic uh, recombinant DNA cloning techniques. And so I was just actually, I just came back today. Um, I was away for three or four days in Switzerland. It was my, my mother-in-law's 80th birthday. But I went to visit one of my friends that, uh, that I used to work with in Scotland. And uh, I was saying, oh, I have to come back at 9 o'clock on Wednesday morning to give a lecture. And uh, it's about advanced techniques. And he said, oh, I guess you're teaching them about PCR. And I said, how do you guess? because the point is PCR is such an important technique. Now, you've been introduced to it. We did a little bit in the labs, I think, in second year, and I think you do something about it in third year in the labs as well. But what I want to do is to sort of lift it up a level here so that you know, when you're doing your projects or when you've done your projects, you understand a little bit more about the principles about why it works and, uh, and what the variables are in a PCR reaction. OK, so let's see if this technology works. That's a good start. There we go. OK. Oh, we went one slide too far. Come on back. Doesn't keep up with this perfectly. Here we go. OK, so PCR. PCR is a relatively new technique in the sense that it was invented, invented, discovered, developed uh, only in the in the mid-80s, really. And so for a long time, well, up until a couple of years ago, it was the very quickest way that somebody had turned a, a technical development into a Nobel Prize. So in 83, this guy, Kerry Mullis, did the first PCR reaction experiment, Hi, and um, that, which was published, of course, because he worked for a company. It was published in 1985. Um, and uh, the idea of using thermostable polymerases was introduced in 1988. And he then, Mullis, got the Nobel Prize in 1993. So from having your first idea and doing your experiment up until uh, getting a Nobel Prize within 10 years is a pretty spectacular achievement. That's because it's such an important and it's such a ubiquitous technique. And effectively, as uh, I'm sure you're all aware by now, PCR is this way of amplifying, of getting many multiple copies of DNA from a very small amount of starting material. So in a sense, uh, very often you'll see it shown as a photocopier or some sort of a copying te 